everyone, it's Tara Styles. I love to do yoga and knit and have fun and also wear cozy things. And I'm very excited to be here knitting with you today. Today we're gonna make this really cute Happy Days beanie to keep you happy in all your days and super cozy as well. In your kit, you will find a set of needles. You will find one ball of crazy sexy wool in this beautiful color. You will find a needle to sew it all up, which is very important. You're gonna need this, so don't lose it on the couch. You will find a pattern, which is essential. Otherwise, who knows what could happen with your ball of yarn, and that's fun too. It comes in beginner, easy, or an intermediate as well. I'm gonna do the easy one because I like things easy, but you can do whichever one your heart desires. And we're gonna make a pom-pom as well with this lovely pom-pom maker. Let's get started. First, we'll take our nice ball of Crazy Sexy Wool and just pop off the cardboard here. Very simple, you can't do this wrong. Put it off to the side. And this is my favorite part of the whole thing is finding the end. And sometimes it takes me a while, but it's okay. If you're like me, you can do this to search. And here you go, sometimes you, you pull out a little bit more and you know, it's all good, but here you go. Here's our end, yay. So first we're gonna make a nice little slip knot. So this is a fun thing to do if you're ever in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. I wasn't, so now I get to make knots from knitting. So first you make a rainbow with the yarn here. So you have right hand over to your right, left hand over to your left, nice arch in the middle. From here, bring your left hand across to the right, grab a hold of the whole thing with your right thumb and index finger there. You're gonna go through the loop here with your thumb and your pointer finger of your left hand, grab a hold of the long yarn that's attached to the ball and simply pull it on through. And it's a slip knot there. So from here, we're gonna cast on, put your needle through the loop here. Now we have our first stitch in our needle. So taking your right needle under and through, so it's behind your left needle, grab a hold of that yarn, drag it all the way around and to the front, dive it all the way under, open it up so you have this nice bit of space here and then dive your left needle down through and pull the whole thing off. And there you go, you've cast it on two stitches. So we're going for 37 for this pattern here. So I'll walk you through a few more times because this took me forever to learn. I know you guys are gonna learn a lot faster than I did, but once you have this stitch, you're all set to go here. So bringing the right needle through the left one so it's behind, again, grabbing a hold of the yarn, take your time with this, no rush. Bring the yarn all the way around and through. Dive that right needle all the way down and under. There it is. Open it all the way up so you have some space here. Give yourself all that room. Bring the left needle under through that loop and pull the whole thing nice and snug there. So we've already got three. We'll keep it going. Dive your right needle down and under through that space there. So your right needle is behind the left one. Grab a hold of the yarn behind you, behind the needles. Wrap it all the way over and around. So you've got this nice little part where it comes together there. Take the right needle, dive it all the way through so it peeks out here underneath. Open the whole thing all the way up so you have some space. Dive your left needle through that big hole and slip it all the way off. So we're casting on. Again, this is the toughest part of anything that you'll do in any of these patterns, but it's very gratifying and it's very fun once you learn. Again, dive the right needle all the way under through that knot here. So your right needle's back of the other one. Bring your opposite yarn around and through. Dive your needle down and under. Slip it all the way open so you have a nice big space there. Left needle comes through that hole. You can hold it down with the finger behind you if you like to stabilize it there and slide it all the way off. Again, just going a few more times like this. We're going all the way up to 37. So diving the needle all the way under. We've got a nice cross there. Your yarn, really soft and cozy to hold. Should feel fun. Bring the yarn all the way around. Dive it back and down and through. Open it all the way up. There's your big space. Take your left needle around the back, pull it through, and you can even slide it down a little bit here so you have a nice amount of space for the tip of your needle to work with. So keeping it going here. So voila, this is what it looks like for your 37 casting on stitches. You have your base ready to make your hat and it's gonna be awesome. 
All right, so for our pattern, we're going to do the entire row alternating knit and purl stitches. It's not hard at all. I'll walk you through it. If I can do this, you can do this. All right, here we go. So the first stitch is your knit stitch. This is a very basic stitch, simple to do. You're gonna bring the needle under the loop here, just like you're casting on. Grab a hold, stabilize it there. Grab a hold of your yarn, bring it all the way back and around and through. Dive your opposite needle all the way under. There it is, peeks out, and then just pop it off. So that's your knit stitch. You could knit all the way through for something else. We're gonna alternate for a purl stitch here. Once you've mastered these two stitches, you're good to go. You're a knitting master, you're a wizard. Okay, so the next one here is your purl. The hardest thing to remember is bringing your yarn forward. I always forget this part. So take your yarn from the back to the front. That's how you begin the purl stitch, back to the front with the purl stitch. Dive it all the way down and through, and then you're good to go here. Wrap this one down and around this needle here and then dive it under and then just lift it off. There you go. And then you take the yarn for your next stitch for your knit stitch and then bring it all the way to the back. So you've done one knit, one purl. We're gonna keep alternating here. So back to knitting here. Take your needle on your right, dive it all the way down and through. Take your yarn back to the front, wrap it around. Take your needle, dive it all the way down and through and then simply pop it off. And now we're gonna purl. Take your yarn on your right. First things first, wrap it down and back around. So bring it to the front. Take the whole thing on the right side, dive it all the way down and under. You've got your yarn again to the right, wrap it from the back to the front around that right needle, then dive the whole thing down and under, peek it out, and then just pop it off the other one. And then bring the yarn from the front to the back. So now we're ready again to go back to knitting. So take your needle on your right, down and through, so it's crossed. Your open yarn here, back to the front, wrap it all the way around. Take your right needle, dive it all the way under, and pop it off. And so for here we go for our purl stitch, back to the all the way to the front, there you go. Take the needle to the right, dive it all the way down and under, peek it through, take your yarn, back to the front, wrap it around, all cozy like that, dive it all the way through and under, and then pop it off. This is getting to be fun. So back to your knitting stitch here. So your yarn is in the front, we wanna move it to the back. So every time we're moving our yarn with this one, dive it down and under, your yarn's in the back, bring it all the way to the front, stabilize it here with that pointer finger, dive it all the way down and through, and then simply pop it off. And we're gonna do for our purl stitch here. So bring the yarn all the way from the back to the front, dive that right needle down and under so it peeks out, stabilize it with the hands, bring the yarn back to the front. Here we go, we wrapped it up, dive it down and under, and then all the way off, pop that thing off and then bring the yarn from the front all the way to the back. So this is getting nice and cozy here, nice rhythm. Dive it all the way down for your knit stitch, wrap it back to the front, dive it all the way down and through, slide it up and pop it off. And bring the yarn all the way from the front to the back. So as you're working through, you can kind of scooch up the needles a little bit so you have it in a nice comfortable place and just keep it going, knitting and purling all the way. So here we have our 28 rows, and this is gonna be how long our hat will be. So we're all finished here. You wanna leave a nice long tail, because next we're going to use our sewing needle to take all of this off the knitting needle. And this is a really fun part too. So grab your knitting needle, and we're just gonna thread this guy all the way through. Super fun. And to take this off, you can kind of scrunch it up and be really careful, just knitting a few loops through at a time and just pull it all the way off. So you can kind of dig through and grab those guys and just pull it all the way off. I'm gonna go all the way through the whole thing. The next bit is you just kind of give it a tug so you drawstring it. And it's starting to look like a hat, guys, isn't it? The next thing to do is sew it up. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're seaming the moss stitch, which is a little bit different than other hats that I've done. So I'm just 
I'm just getting this one, so I'm, I'm with you on here. It's really easy to do though. So you pull this nice and snug, and you look for these little knobs here. So you go on this top knob and slide it all the way through. And you're starting to, to get that one nice and snug there. So you go on this other knob on your opposite side and slide it all the way through. So you're just looking for these top, top little knobs that come out here. It should be really easy to find. So you're just alternating one to the other coming from the top there. So again, all the way through. Super good. And it looks really clean and easy. Seamless seam. Really super sleek. Sleek and cozy. So we're going all the way down. This way your hat will definitely match up. No guesswork required. All right, so we're nearly at the end here, which is coming up to another fun part of weaving in the ends. So you just kind of top it off on your last knob there. And then all you have to do, this is the fun part, you turn it inside out. And the cool thing is the yarn is nice and chunky, so it hides all the, all your, your ends there, so you kind of just weave it in, weave it up however you like, just staying close to the seam, and you're all set. It is pom-pom time! This is very exciting. So you take our pom-pom maker, Take our levers on the one side, open this guy up, turn it around here, you'll find your levers for the other side. Take those two, one, two, and then you open these up. So the next thing we're gonna do is wrap our yarn around each of these nice little rainbows here. So you can wrap as much as you want or as little as you want. The more you wrap, the fluffier, the more voluptuous your pom-pom will be. I like a little scrappy, little scrawny pom-pom for today, and it's gonna have a nice little kick and be fun. So all we do is just start wrapping away here. All the way around the sky. You can't really mess this up, so just keep going. You can wrap till your little heart is all wrapped out. So we have our one side all wrapped up. Take a nice scissors here, give it a little trim, and we'll do the same thing with your other half of your rainbow pom-pom maker. So giving yourself some slack there and starting to wrap it up. Again, you can go as big or as tiny as you want with this pom-pom, so experiment if you make one pom-pom, I dare you to just make one because it's impossible. You're going to make millions and millions of pom-poms in your pom-pom making career. So experiment, go wild, play with different colors, different sizes, different attitudes. Now, our next thing is to simply close this back up. Easy peasy. All right. We are in pom-pom making heaven. All right. all right, next we're gonna cut all of these loops in our pom-pom maker. So really easy, really fun. Take your scissors, get underneath here, and just give this a nice little trim and go all the way around the whole circle. And you wanna get to both sides. And take your time. It's fun, so you wanna enjoy this, because once your pom-pom's made, that's the only time you're gonna make that one pom-pom. And you're gonna have stories to tell about it. So go slow so you can enjoy the whole process. But you're gonna to wanna to make other pom-poms too. So you can dream about all the pom-poms you're gonna make all the different colors while you're making your first pom-pom. There we go. Voila! Next we'll need a nice long piece for wrapping around your whole pom-pom. So get a nice, long, great piece of yarn and give it a trim. Okay, so we're going to tie this around. So you wanna get it right in the center there because something cool is going to happen. You're gonna pull it through so it actually disappears and it's catching your pom-pom in the middle there. So now you have made 
the center point, the nucleus of your pom-pom, you are secure. And we are going to tie this in and our planet of pom-pom is ready to be emerged from its world. Here we go. The big reveal of our planet pom-pom. So opening one side, voila. And then we get our other side. Get in there, one and then two. Open all the way. And we have our lovely fluffy pom-pom. And you can give it a little haircut. You can make sure the ends are trimmed to your liking. You can have it all uneven if you like, or perfectly even if you like that as well. I think it looks pretty great. We are ready to mount our pom-pom on the top of the hat. Yay! Okay, here we go. Right on the top here, all you gotta do is secure it in to one side of your top, pull it through, It'll drag that nice pom-pom along with it and bring it into the other side. Secure it right in the top there, pull it on through. And I'm just gonna drop this needle down and through to the inside of the hat. And you have your other side, so you can just use your fingers. Come to the inside of the hat, so turning it inside out. And here we go, and this is the simplest thing in the whole world. You take that needle off, no needles inside the finished hat and you can tie this off nice and secure. If you're worried about it, you can tie a double knot as well, which is always good for extra hat security. You can just weave these ends in here and you're all set. Open it back up and you have the world's coolest Happy Days hat with an amazing pom-pom. I am the Happy Days hat. I need to be worn by somebody happy. I will make you happy if you are sad. And if you have any sad friends, Give them to me. I will make them happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am the happy days hat. Here to make you happy. Happy, 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 happy hat. Hello. I am happy hat. <laughs>